Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial and this time we are going to learn another way how to create logos and basically I found this um, interesting tutorial which I wasn't aware of this and um, it's not in English and I thought that this could be another um, interesting way to create logos um, although I find that it's a little bit uh, different from the other method, but still yet uh, it can help you uh, if you don't have Illustrator or maybe just provide you a better geometry to work with. So uh, without speaking too much, let's uh, see how it goes. So we create. We are going to create a plane. Okay, this is our plane here in the middle, and I'm going to scale it to about so. Okay, now you can press immediately six to see uh, also textures that we are going to apply. And here at the polyplane, I want to uh, remove the subdivision width and height. Okay. Then right click, go over assign favorite material, Lambert, and click on this checkered box next to the color, choose file, and what I want you to do is go over the web and find some silhouette kind of uh, picture, okay? It can be tribals, uh, it can be any picture, um, make sure je that it's big enough picture and that it has at least two colors white and black or something like this one which is bluish with black okay um, choose open and here we have this if you don't see the picture it's because you didn't press six okay press six to see textures five to get shader mode okay shader six for texture also after you've done this, you grab the plane, go over Modify, Convert, Texture to Geometry. Well, um, click on this box here, go over the Texture Geometry options, make sure you reset the setting. Go over Select here and choose the same picture, okay? Uh, I'm using PNG, you can use JPEG also, okay? Choose open, here tick the quantize and bring this to 10, uh, you can also bring this one to 10, okay, and add the max points to add, um, you can add 100, you can add less, it really depends on how much points you want to have, like, uh, I think it's more of like, you know, how much segment as it writes here. Um, basically the last thing you have to do is go over shader template and we want to choose the Lambert 2 because the Lambert 2 is this texture okay Lambert 1 is the default one and Lambert 2 is the new one okay click on this apply and close you will have to wait you see here the percents are starting to raise until it will finish the process Okay, it's taking time. Okay, after you've done this, you can see I have here two layers. Okay, so what I want you to do is basically go over move tool, change to move tool, and bring this aside over here. And from here, grab both of them like that. Go over edit, delete by type, history, and then open the outliner which is here okay this icon here expand this P plane and here you will see another group which named as dunk okay this is because the file name of this texture is dunk but in your case it will be whatever your uh, texture name is and also make sure that the name not contain any numbers or stuff like that 
it has to be some you know let uh, some word okay only letters and make sure it's letters that Maya can uh, recognize okay dunk I'm going to grab this group with my middle mouse uh, wheel okay click on my wheel and drag this outside of this group up here okay so now this has been excluded and we can grab the, this group which is this group here and simply press delete now you want to grab this maybe move this back over here and go over window rendering editor hypershade and grab the upper sh upper shade just a bit here so you can see also the thing here okay now you see um, this picture is uh, made of a uh, few shaders we have the black we have the bluish and we have another bluish like dark bluish like this one so basically trying to be logic here you know that you want only the black so on the black you ain't gonna touch okay what you're going to do is choose those which are not uh, part of the picture of the logo or whatever this one is the uh, the default shader we used okay so this one you can also delete okay and just press delete select and delete it but this one you want to uh, start with this one right click select object with material it will select whatever it's selecting here okay something underneath just press delete to delete this then go over this one right click same thing select object with material it will select everything except the black okay because this is the black press delete to delete it and you will stay with the black okay very simple now you can come over here edit and delete uh, unused nodes okay so it will delete those two that are not in the scene or okay this is simple <coughs> close this grab this all you have to do is basically extrude this okay and you can change the you can press F8 to bring it back to object mode right click assign new material Lambert and if you see this you can see that we have some kind of uh, dark areas here you see so in order to um, set this correct you go over polygons normals and set to face okay now uh, the normals direction will be correct and everything looks great uh, you can press 3 on your keyboard to smooth preview it and it will look like this okay but it's better to use to press 1 back to exit this smooth preview and add some edge loops so shift right click insert edge loops you can add one edge loop here one edge loop at the bottom to maintain those edges Okay, and press 3. Now it will look a little bit better. Okay, um, let's just assign some other material. Lambert, maybe let's just change the Lambert of this to black so it will look better. Okay, that's it. This is the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, again, it's not my own tutorial. I did uh, found it somewhere on the web and uh, decided to create uh, this in English so everyone will, uh, can enjoy this uh, method also. Um, I don't even know who to credit, so whoever will, this uh, good Russian uh, person who is. Uh, that's tanking so thank you dude and that's it have fun people and have a good day see you